What do uh, what do you call a handicapped person with a gun? <laughs> what special forces? <laughs> okay, that's dumb. <laughs> I still I still liked it. I They're always it. all dumb. <laughs> welcome back, everybody, to the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're back. We're back with uh, some more Disney for you. Mm. It's a whole new episode. <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, yes, welcome back. We are talking about this is kind of like a part two, technically like a series, right? We did the dark secrets of Disney, yeah, yeah, and now we're talking about specifically Disneyland. So I wanted to kind of put him in too. And uh, you know, if you haven't uh, if you haven't heard of our last episode yet, go check it out. Um, it will be out the time this one's out. You know, because we'll be we talked about all the conspiracies surrounding this this creepy reptile, that creepy guy. Yep. Do you like that? I, I meant to. I meant to, it's an image of Walt Disney that I made into a reptilian, and I I meant to show it last time, and I forgot. <laughs> Done did forgot it, but it will uh, it will lead into the how we're going to end this, which will be it will be something very special for everybody out there. Cool. Um, but yeah, we're talking about Disneyland. Have you ever been? I have not. I have not. I've never been to Orlando. I've never been to Disneyland. I've never been to Florida. I've never been to the states. I, I've, I've been to Buffalo, I guess, once, but. That's what, yeah, that's why I gotta go to see Anton. But I've, uh, I've never been in the states either. I, I, I like, it's just like barely to. crossing the border over Niagara, but that was like it. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. What is that? Me being Mickey? Is that what that's supposed <laughs> to be? Yeah, he's standing on the table. Isn't that fun? Yes, back. So some places, you know, with a, a reputation for being haunted and and having strange things happen, um, you know, most of them have an obvious like backstory. You know, sure, cemeteries and old houses, and uh, you Not know, obvious uh, with a history of murder or one thing. But the the happiest place on earth could a world famous amusement park aimed at creating uh, lifelong memories for kids and their families truly be the eternal resting place for some wayward souls according to some of these stories that we will get to this uh 61 year old park has its fair share of uh, of you know spine chilling spirits chilling spirits who aren't quite done with their vacation yet but we're also going to dive into some. i weird... never want to leave i like <laughs> this place. we're also going to dive into some weird strange uh, things to do with Disneyland in general when it comes to mm. like the, how they treat their employees. There's obviously hauntings and weird stuff that that happens. Um, you know, it's just it's controlled by the Illuminati. It's it's just all it is, man. It's all it is. A Mickey Mouse face and that is a stretch. Why? It's literally <laughs> it's it, just it, Photoshop. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I thought, someone they, I thought they were this. trying to like. You think make someone it. folded a dollar bill yeah. to look like this? <laughs> So just to bring it in, obviously, there's a lot of weird stuff with, with Disneyland in general. Um, you know, they're very uh, strict on certain policies and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, pe people gather there and wait in long lines for uh, a fun two minute ride. That's kind of like any big amusement park. At oh, they're all. getting bad now, though. Yeah, I guess. And then they make it well, they charge you out the ass for the fast pass, and then everyone wants one so badly. And then the fast pass isn't even really that fast. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, hey, now I just feel like I'm waiting like a normal amount of time instead of a fucked up amount of time. So, to bring us into this a little bit, we're just going to show uh, some fun images that an AI created. Is that fun? What do you mean, an AI created that? Does that look real to you? <laughs> No, but I'm saying, how do you know somebody else? Like, how are you saying these are AI? Because I know that they are. Because I know that they are. They, uh, somebody created this with AI. That's, that's not AI creation. You, that's what I was asking you. An AI created thing is like you just said, make me a picture, and this is what AI did. No, no, AI manipulates I stuff. Okay, I understand. Have you not seen that though? That's what it's at now. You can like type in uh, AI. Write me a song about me losing my I girlfriend, know. and it writes a whole song. Yeah, that's a GP a chat around. That would, would be an AI creation. Yeah. That's what I thought you were saying. They're just like, show me a scary picture, and it's like, <laughs> here you go. Yeah. I was like, that's fucking terrifying. Well, and that's and that's why you know we're gonna when me and look out for it. Obviously, on um, 
you know, first class horror, class horror cast is, is we're going to do a discussion about the movie Megan because, uh, you know, that movie I thought was fairly good and it's pretty frightening. And I and wanted the, the trailer looked really good. The AI really, technology really fucking that. scares the shit out of me. So I thought these were kind of fun to show just to, of the beginning of the episodes because they are strange uh strange photos that's for sure i would okay who would you rather get eaten by that one kind of looks like me it kind of does if billy if billy was uh super sleep deprived <laughs> yeah tinkerbell um that one's terrifying yeah same with that one i feel like this is the scariest one yeah i probably just it's the scary. blank dark it's eyes it's all the teeth in the back yeah no one wants that yeah, you got too much teeth too much teeth yeah, I so, wouldn't mind him being eaten by that guy. He looks like he doesn't even have to chew the big, the big. Oh, he'll just swallow. Yeah, that's whole. just a straight swallow. You might even still be alive. It's like a whale. Yeah, and then then you know what you then you're stuck in there like Geppetto, wondering where his uh, his little boy went. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get back into Walt Disney and Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Uh, and now obviously they have them all over the world and like China and stuff. In those ones, you get locked in the park for like 24 hours, and most times they just make you like build mines and stuff. It's like I tricked you. <laughs> you thought this was gonna be fun. You <laughs> heard all kidding. the stories. No more work. Yo, did you know the Chinese are uh, going? They're doing like kind of uh what we would call like a quiet quitting where uh they just lie down <laughs> and like the government's like actually getting to the point of like being fucking like terrified of it we're sleepy well the, no the workers are just like nope not working and they'll just straight up lie down and i'm I like could, oh I okay so they're like losing a little bit of that control over that and they're yeah. kind of fighting well there's been protests and stuff like that obviously in china when it comes yeah. to like the lockdowns because they just kept going on with it and they're locking people literally in their apartments and then like um some place caught fire i knew the story about this before and then essentially like people died because they were locked inside these their apartment buildings or like their workplace something like that and then people freaked out and started protesting it's like yeah you should probably get on board with uh the rest of the world of wanting freedom you know you guys stop being so subservient no 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 <laughs> no so you've never work. been to the the happiest place on earth according to fucking walt nazi disney oh i've been to a couple of happy places you ever been to a rub and tug i knew that's pretty was happy there, there. I knew that was going there. <laughs> yeah, so let's uh, let's discuss it because both Walt Disney World and Disneyland attract millions of fans and oh, tourists. Yeah, those are two different places. Yeah. I forgot of all ages every year with the rides and attractions, Disney characters, and the princesses in the flesh. Does that mean strippers? No, but I'm sure that there is some Disney strippers out there. I'm sure. I'm sure. Hey, I feel like I've seen them on like TikTok. Only fans, man. Or the cosplay of Areola. Can you get looking over it? Vag Vagmus. Oh, sorry to do that. Uh, Ariola, Jas you took the you took the best one right off the bat. Jasmine Vagmin. <laughs> Come on, that's kind of funny. Whole white. <laughs> yeah, whole white. I like that one. Um, so obviously, you know, it's it's a generally magical feeling. The powers that be at Disney often attempt to sweep some of these strange stories under the rug. I probably wouldn't want that. It's not really good for business. But I there's think. nothing quite like hot gossip about the happiest place on earth to help spread the going ons at this park. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's see what done did happened around there. So like he's like, don't just ignore it. Just, it's fine. You're yeah. fine. It's fine. Just ignore it. I'm a I'm a suicidal mouse. <laughs> he's a fucking suicidal mouse. Yeah, from the last episode. Go check that out. So I just want to show you a couple of these creepy images from like, like I get, 80s. yeah, they're trying to do it, but I was like, fuck you guys. Like you <laughs> really could have put more effort into that. This is what Mickey Mouse looked like in the eighties. It's terrifying. Isn't that crazy? Well, it's just they didn't really have like no utilities that we do now to make a better costume. That <laughs> looks cute. That's cute. Dumbo looks like he's on drugs though. Dumbo's cute. That's a cute costume. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's fucking Mickey and Minnie that are terrifying. <laughs> the fuck How the weird. fuck are these children? I know. Like this one? Oh, <laughs> it's scary. Looks like they're about to sell drugs to the kid. Yeah, because they're shifty eyes. They're like this. Yeah. Well, it's obviously obvious and understandable that certain cast members at Disneyland Resort are picked because they resemble the near perfect looking Disney princess princes and princesses. Oh, I can't cast everybody. I can't be everybody. 
Would you uh do it? How much whatever you're gonna ask it, do it. How much would you uh how much would it take an hour for you to dance around as Mickey? Well, okay, first of all, who how much money would it take for you to dance around a costume at Disneyland? Not much. Like and as a job. I gotta do that every day. Okay. As can a, I be drunk? You think you they can, wouldn't know? You could be you could be just shy of being drunk. Uh, 30, 30 bucks. I do, <laughs> yeah, that, I do that for 30 bucks. That's pretty expensive. But um, what character would you want to play? Goofy. For sure? I'd be Goofy. 100%. Or Donald Duck. No, Donald Duck. Uh, Bad voice after a, so long. Oh, my God. I'd just be a chipmunk. You could be a prince, though. I wouldn't have can, to say shit. I'd just be a chipmunk. Be... No, something that I don't have to talk. Yeah, we still have to talk. You have to do a really. The chipmunk. Would you be have like... to do the chipmunk voice. <laughs> No, yeah. What does Alvin and the Chipmunk sound like? It's like that really high pitch. Yeah. Can you do it? No. Can you try? No. <laughs> no. No. <I'm> <laughs> so obviously, it's still disappointing to find out that uh, most of them, obviously, like just high school level. It's it's still disappointing to find out that there is almost high school level of segregation and uh, that kind of mentality going on behind the scenes. Also. Like you're one of the fat princesses. <laughs> you're a loser. No, additionally, uh, auditioning to, additionally auditioning to become a cast member at the theme park is frequently seen as a stepping stone to get on the Disney channels, etc. So they supposedly, oh, which cool. I didn't know, is that if you like are good at, you know, maybe you're kind of decent at acting and you kind of look like one of the characters that you might be able to be in a backdrop of a Disney show or something like that. That's what mm. I take from it. Yeah. Cause like most Disney shows start children more than anything else. Yeah, that's true. While they're getting molested by Walt Disney's ghost in the basement. It's fair. I, I want to see his fucking chamber at the, at the in, inside Disney world. Oh yeah. So I want to see what it looks like, you know, it's probably just a bunch of sex wings. Yeah. <laughs> just a bunch of Nazi memorabilia. It's, you think that Burt Kreischer's all, got all the, all the He's got everything. They're not. They're not cock rings. They're cock sleeves, and they're just like the the Nazi sleeves. Oh, uh, that's fun. Yeah. I like that. That's a, fun, cock, that's a fun. cock sleeves. Cock sleeves. I like. I'm that. gonna make that. I think that's just <laughs> called. I think that's just called a condom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The cast members who are cast as human characters like Aladdin, Alice, Snow White, Jack Sparrow, etc. There you go. You could be Jack Sparrow because you could just be drunk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Sparrow doesn't walk like that because he's drunk. I know. We discussed this yeah. on the last episode. Oh, is that just the last episode? Yes. Um, uh, but he is also drunk all the so time. It, they're That's actually fun. Yeah. They're known as faces. And then the mascot characters like Mickey, Goofy, and Donald are, can you guess what they call them? It's something that already holds a, 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 a name in fetish world. Furries? Yes. Isn't that weird? They mm. call the, the costume characters furries. And I'm sure there's tons of people out there that like live for this shit. That just like, I want to be Mickey Mouse. They're like super excited. About it, you know, and then it's like their whole life is like dizzy and they're mm. like enveloped by it. And they'll be like, oh, 14 hours for your home. <laughs> this is how you sell sex to little girls. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So is the oh, after. <laughs> so uh <laughs> and uh the, the bottom of the food chain uh, would obviously have you know people that are like vendors and stuff like that, you know, that you know sell you goddamn so, popcorn and stuff. That guy. He's like the bottom of the food chain. So you know what? I don't have to fucking dance. <laughs> I have a good job. I get all the free popcorn I want, and uh princesses are hot as fuck, so yeah, he molests them in the back. Like a Mar, I'm all right where I'm all right where I am. <laughs> so it is weird. So like, uh, coming. is the ODVs, the outdoor vendors, who often refer to themselves as ODV slaves. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the faces would sit away from the costume characters, and the costumes would sit away from the ODVs, and so on. So like the the faces like the characters that don't wear like the furry costumes they all sit together and they're all, they're all segregated club mm -hmm. and then the people that are the furries they sit all on their own and then the fucking at the bottom of the food chain the food vendors are like oh, fuck mickey 
He's like getting super angry. And one guy's like, I'm gonna fuck Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you have one guy come in and he like he's like, I finally got the dress up like Mickey. And he's got like a massive shotgun and then he shoots everybody. No. Have fun. Okay. Yeah. You know? Nice. Yeah, you know, like that scenario. No, he just it was a it was a different angle than i was going i was just going for wholesome rape and you you had to take it to murder <laughs> so yeah it's so weird so in addition the face characters get paid a significantly higher amount of money than the rest of the cast members so that's a big thing nobody seems to be talking about is that they're getting segregated uh would you dress up like pinocchio and then like maybe you have like a fake boner oh thing you my hit? god i always fuck yeah <laughs> Every single time I'd be, I'd be like, I'd watch, come here. That'd be my pickup line. I'd be like, you ever sit on someone's face and just ask them to lie before? <laughs> yeah, like that. You should, uh, for one of the Halloween specials, you should dress up like Pinocchio. That'd be so fucking funny. I'll beat your pedo. You know what? Honestly, I, I kind of want to do it and go to a bar now. I know, fine. That's a pretty good yeah, icebreaker. Yeah, it is. And then until you get slapped. Um, and then they give you your own as you're on the ground ground with your like hand on your face, they slip you their a piece of paper as their only fans on it. Uh, yeah. Maybe if they give me like a free passcode or whatever, so like <laughs> I don't have to pay. I um, can't imagine that whole fucking inter- it drives me nuts that people like not drives me nuts, but it, it blows my mind that people actually pay for all the fans. Yeah, like, that it's kind weird. of blows my fucking mind. Porn is free and porn is bad. <laughs> like that that too, like I get that, but like like what? I know. I don't like, get it. Fucking what? Like, Only fans is a so... weird thing. And I, so somebody got mad when I posted that on the host heads page, which still exists for all the fans out there on oh, wait, Facebook. Um, it's like those memes. It's just like, uh, you have to respect me. And it's like a like that cartoon girl crying. And then the like, you know, the macho guy that's always like in those memes. With like the bearded guy. This is like a side profile. Yeah. And then he was like, you sell your uh, pics of your asshole for $5. Like, and then someone's like, actually, I disagree. Uh, because in someone that like, it, of all the things I say, they said, I disagreed on that one. And uh, we went to this whole spiel and I said my opinion of like, yeah, it just shows a reflection of our society and how obviously a lot of women and men too, that have bad mental health will build their bodies, their, their vessel, their physical their soul inhabits in this fucking physical reality so they can actually make some money and live and then a lot of times just de- depraving and then what you can look at it like you know you're 16 and be like what'd you do for like you know when you were younger to your kids and it's like ah, for like 10 years i sold pictures of like my asshole i stuck a bunch of dildos in there it was really fun i enjoyed myself and i'm like cool they probably could I, can do I, I they want, to sure. be fair i think i've said this a million times if i was a girl i'd 100 percent be a stripper That'd be a really hard thing. I'd be like, that's, I just see the opportunity. That's a crazy amount of money. I'd feel validated every day. Yeah. What if you're a really ugly stripper, which only like the fat dudes can go after? Doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't have to fuck any of them. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone would say that, right? Like, oh, I would do this or do this, you know, if you're a woman. Yeah. I Um, wouldn't do it where anyone knew me. Fuck me. I'd do it right now if like I could. Nah, yeah. nobody wants to put see on me. a dress, man. Nobody, um, no, nobody wants to see that strip. Get some. No, fake you boobies. don't. You don't want to see that. Nobody and, uh, wants to watch that. You can walk that. into uh, little girl change rooms like some people have been doing in this society. Yeah, see, I don't think that's gonna make <laughs> me money. So crazy. So of I course, guess so rent will be free after that. <laughs> not every single incident leads to a fatality in this park, although some of the injuries people have sustained at disney either <sighs> as guests or employees are quite awful okay in 1983 an 18 year old man fell off space mountain and was paralyzed that's fucked an 85 year old man yeah why, why was he on the top of space mountain <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i think he was on the ride like he was just like Maybe <laughs> like, what, this is only meant to hold little people. You think he was spaced out on Space Mountain? He's like kind of high. Stupid joke. That's actually kind of funny. Think about obviously situations change, but like in my mind right now, if you're to like transform me into like a 90 year old, I think it'd be pretty damn hard to not develop a serious heroin addiction. Yeah. You remember that Watsky? Like I'd just be like, Fuck it. (laughs) What do I have to lose right (laughs) now? Do you remember that Watsky line where he's like, when I'm 84, I'm going to, he says, I'm going to become a heroin addict and then uh, use his skin flaps to fly like a flying squirrel or something like that. (laughs) Yeah, I don't don't remember that line. It's a weird line. Um, 
in, in the September 2000, a four-year-old boy fell out of uh, the Roger Rabbit's um, – where is that? The picture of the ride. Somewhere I don't know any of these rides because I, I wasn't allowed to go. Yeah, I never went to, to My Disney. parents couldn't. They're like, no, that's too expensive. No, to go all the way to Florida. I've yeah, I never. My parents couldn't afford that. Stuff. You only get you only get fucking craft dinner, but we get to drink and smoke every day. Yeah, yeah. So weird. Thanks. I had it up here. Huh, strange. Uh, strange. So uh, yeah, my parents uh, weren't that bad. It was just a dumb joke. Yeah, in <laughs> September two thousand, yeah, four year old boy fell out of the Roger Rabbit's uh, cartoon spin ride and suffered serious internal injuries, cardiac arrest and brain damage after being dragged underneath the car. Oh. And it's like one of those, like, I don't know why to, to be fair. Like, think about it though. Like accidents happen at amusement parks frequently. Yeah. And like, this is a giant amusement park. Yeah. That's what, that's a part Where, of like, even think of like, Oh, the pop-up ones are the ones that are worse. Right. Yeah. So like the, didn't yeah i remember the zipper one of the carts fell off the zipper once i remember that yeah we uh we hit a squirrel once and it like bumped it up and it was fucking scary yeah you hit a squirrel in the zipper no on the, not on the zipper like, where on the, the, is um, this a flying squirrel <laughs> oh yeah that was, I, I, never, I thought you were talking about um the one car ride in uh in wonderland i don't know why i said zipper and then heard that oh the zipper is the fucking yeah, yeah. The one that oh and the doors have opened and shit. No, this whole cage what? came off on the top sent the people flying they both fucking died what a way to go that was like 15 years ago what a way to go man what would you do with that in that instant there, Billy? <laughs> we were at a park <laughs> that's a he always always was down for the ride <laughs> That's crazy, and that that what like, and I like the zipper. So the ride got down for him. That shit frightens me. You no, know, it's fine too. But like, you always look at that all those pop up amusement parks, and you're like, you're looking at the bolts, you're looking at the structure, and you're like, that ain't in right. Yeah, well, who else you're are like you that shit shaking, and like yeah. you're like that. You'll see screws fall out, and you're like, I feel like they were there for Isn't a there reason. Another crucial point of who's running the ride the fucking meth addict well oh well that's what i mean smoking and I, cigarettes i swear to fucking god smoking. those are also the ones putting them up yeah yeah that's <laughs> I'm like and you see like the, the stakes in the ground holding the whole thing and like they're like beaming out they're wiggling they're slowly starting to f f like, I heard like that, this whole our, thing looks like it's about to collapse but it never does i know our carnies except for like carnies get mad and offended if you call them carnies i thought they did carnival folk well, if they do get Carnies. mad, they can fuck themselves because I got fucking bullshit out of a PS5. I ever tell you that? No. In the Paris Fair, I won a fucking PS5. I didn't only win the PS5. I won it three fucking times, and he refused to give it to me. No, it's bullshit. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. It's bullshit. It was that stupid basketball game yeah. where, like, you got to shoot through, like, the super tiny... Uh... Or, no, sorry, it wasn't that one. That wasn't the PS5. The PS5 one was the throw the buckets into the ball or yeah. the... And they'll give you bouncy balls, and then like the some look the same, but they're more bouncy. Yeah. I uh, throw five in a row and get a PS5. Stood in one spot through one, two, three, four, five. I was freaking out. He's like, "Oh, you moved on the last one, buddy. You, you gotta do it again." Like your hand went over the line. I was like, "That's fucking bullshit." I like, I didn't even move my feet. You've been handing me balls. I haven't physically moved. <laughs> I was like, "Okay, whatever." So I stood back and I was like, "You're good." He's like, "Yeah." I know he handed me the fucking bounciest ball. I got the luckiest shot ever. This thing fucking like just curved on the mm -hmm. lip, started rolling around and stayed in. Fucking one. He's like, no, I saw that lean. I was like, where do you want me to stand? Yeah, you should lean over the counter and be like, listen, bud. Yeah, I was like, give it, take it twice. I didn't win it three times. I won yeah. it twice. And then he gives me another one. I take a giant step back. I'm like, fucking here good he's like yeah and i missed that one but i was yeah. like that's bullshit you know i won he's like no nah, close man close here's your uh, stuffed animal scammers man i, I feel like they don't even have a ps5 in there they, it's just an empty box this guy it's gotta this be. guy told us he would using he, he gave us like uh we actually done i think he even gave us he, he said if we went and get him a coffee he would give us like 20 bucks and you know where the paris it took us like a half an hour to walk to tim Hortons to get him a coffee is it from the Paris Fair? To to the Tim Hortons on the other that's side like, of town. That, that's like 20 minutes to try. 20 minutes, yeah. Like, And then we came back. Yeah, down Scott after. And then uh, he just gave us $3. And I was like, what the fuck? And we were like 13. I was like, he's actually gave us 20 bucks. And then we were like, we kind of walked away like, 
like little teenage boys giving yeah. the finger like fuck you you piece like, of yeah Yo, you got you got tipped a fucking dollar bud cheers god man give you kids 20 bucks god damn carnies out, man i don't like you carny folk <laughs> Just like money, so up, gonna, money up front, motherfucker. We're going to get an email from somebody be like, hey, all right, I'm going to listen to your podcast while I'm traveling all across Canada trying to build these rides. For can you. can I be our <laughs> HR department? Can you just like start sending me every complaint and I'll just respond hilariously? I can't because you can't respond to the reviews and stuff like that. I'm like Apple Podcasts. Why can't you? Who cares? You oh, can't respond. Oh, no, that's fine. But like send me like the email complaints or the, the ones you can respond to. Yeah, some guy kept harassing me, and I just, I kept blocking him. And uh, on my like, did you piss someone off? Real I'm like, good? no, I don't know who this guy is. I have political accounts. He was like, you're. I <laughs> said something like, uh, he's like, you were right about anything, and your rapping sucks too. And he like said this like a couple weeks ago, and then I oh, blocked this is him. Super recent. And then he and then I he did it again, and I like honestly like, a new count that looked the same. And then he also like said something on the Strange Room podcast guy, and I was like, buddy, I'm deleting your shit. I don't know who you are. I could care less what you think about anything. And it's just weird the people that go I would so way. I would so leave it up. Well, that's so it's, it's weird. not weird. It's hilarious. Like you have to be a next level fucking loser to have that much hate I to know. like go. Oh, I need to speak my opinion, <laughs> and I need to tell you that I think I'm better than you. <laughs> yeah. It's like cool, but you probably are nailed it. Meanwhile, like, he's like got diabetes. I re- I really hope your wife stops are hitting in you. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, the wife you uh, your dream wife starts hitting you. Billy's complaint jar. <laughs> that's right. It's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. What get. Actually, can I? I want to be in charge of our HR department. Any complaints go through me directly. I will yeah. handle them and address them accordingly because I've been in customer service for so long. I'm so sick of saying nice things to people that I complain. I just want to rip them apart so badly. Yeah. It is very crazy <laughs> that this kid got dragged underneath the car ride at the the roger rabbit cartoon spin ride um and he he like literally had a heart attack that's crazy it sounds like kids nowadays after they uh get a little needle um but they got a cardiac arrest internal injuries i guess they should um and (laughs) and brain damage uh after i guess being dragged under the car Uh, although he lived there was a serious delay between the time of the incident and when medical emergency personnel was contacted (laughs) So like, they're like, oh, shit, just he's looking, fine. He's like, he's he's probably fine if you think about it. Like, <laughs> he'll get up. He's okay. He can't be dead. They have, a, they have like a they have a stick. It has like a Mickey Mouse uh, hand on it, like the glove, and they like poke him. Like you okay? That's what they do to everyone that like falls yeah. off a ride. Like for everything liability, tur- we can't touch <laughs> you. <laughs> everything turns to like that fucking. Uh... Oh my god! Why am I blanking on the movie? The four boys find a dead body. The oh, fuck's uh, that's a great movie. Um, it's a book. What the fuck? Why uh, am I blanking? Uh, uh, it's a book by is not based on the same name. Um, God damn, it help us out. I almost said Last Man Standing. Oh, uh, uh, no, that's not the stand. Wow, I'm fucking god, this is driving me insane. I love that movie, and I don't. I can't pull up my shit on this computer. Uh, here we go. Stand by me. Oh my god, thank you. Fuck me. Thank you. Anyways, uh, every single uh, yeah, thanks. That's your fucking rock star. Anyways, um, yeah, that's like every single time someone dies, they're just like, well, we saw this, and this is how you you tell if something's dead or not. You just keep, <laughs> you just keep poking it. I just want to see the Mickey Mouse glove, <laughs> like fucking find a stick. Every uh, time it pokes, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Lee leading Disney to review and change their policies. Unfortunately, it was too late for this child who lived with the consequences of that fateful ride until he passed away in January 2009. So nine years too. later after he fell off the ride and got crushed. But what was that kid doing, right? It says keep your hands in. He's going like this. Why is he doing that, you know? And then he fucking got brain damage. <laughs> yeah, they have they have the rules. And maybe that's why they're like, you know what? You you didn't follow the rules so now you can wait (laughs) so uh yeah so then uh uh, again uh you know disney's california adventure uh has also been the site of several accidents such as when the california screaming attraction malfunctioned and the train reared another sending 15 guests to the hospital did any die uh one yeah uh, I don't 
think so. That's no, not really tragic, then. Yeah, isn't it? No, it's not really. Uh, okay. You want to be thrown from a fucking roller coaster? That's also for, you've seen. Um, did, but did they die? <laughs> you've seen uh, Final Destination, right? Yeah. Do you remember the second one where no third one? Third I didn't one. watch all the final. I've seen one of them. Have you seen the third one with the roller coaster? I don't think so. That one's like. Because we, uh, Aaron wants to eventually like cover all of the, at least some of the Final Destination movies, either it's commentaries doing reviews on them. Oh, okay. And uh, it is like that alone is scary because I feel like everyone has that thought. Um, I wish we could have went to Wonderland together at some point, maybe sometime in the future. But like even when Chelsea's been with me or like my buddy Christian and stuff like that, when we've got up, I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. Like I just like swear. And as we're like going down, I scream, fuck. And then Chelsea's just like standing there, like she's like laughing as I like scream my head off. Cause like I la- enjoy it for the thrill of it, but it it scares me. And I fucking I don't like heights. Every, like I've I only ever like gone heights. to like amusement parks with like girlfriends, and all of them are too much of a I, I haven't had a girlfriend that's just cool and going on rides. I was like, really? all fucking suck. Yeah, like come on, come on rides with me. All right, Billy needs a um say, say what your what your need is in a woman, and we'll find you one on the internet. A, a woman. <laughs> one without a dick. <laughs> um <laughs> that's it. Do I got no preferences? We start there. <laughs> we we see what the applicants are. We work our way. <laughs> <laughs> There's three chicks, and that's it. And most of them are obese, and one is a man. <laughs> it's like, uh, I like your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> when the going gets rough, though, some people resort to violence against one another, maybe in the happiest place on earth. And in some cases, the happiest place on earth has been the site of Murder. If they're murderers, they're happy. You think murder, like extra murderers, like most of them, like actually genuinely get happy from doing it? Yeah, if they if they get some sexual gratification or power trip to an extent, like is that no, no? I mean, like I mean, like they left that and they're like. Had a good day. (laughs) (laughs) Like, you think it's all like just like fuck? I have a problem, but like. Like, like but you think one walks away, locks the door, he starts whistling, throwing his keys. But he's like, How's your day? He's like, This is fucking great. <laughs> I'm, great sure fucking those, I'm sure Dahmer had those I'm sure Dahmer had those days where he's like, like what a got the perfect Puerto day. Rican boy in my bedroom. I got his fucking head full of sulfuric acid or whatever he used. And uh, yeah, he's is, like, I'm ready to go. Hopefully he good, survives longer than an hour. Like, I almost <laughs> want to buy a lottery ticket. I feel like a lucky duck. <laughs> <laughs> so this is crazy. In 1981, a teenager was fatally stabbed during a knife fight. How do you think this knife fight erupted, Billy? How do you think it fucking happened, huh? Someone cut line. Someone cut line, 100%. You think so? Cut line or uh, ripped him off, didn't give him change at a vending. Do you, vending. Th- do you think that he like... Do you have the answer for me, or am I just guessing? You're just guessing. You think oh, it's got to be. They both slick back their hair with like grease and then whipped out their knives, and then that's how the fight started. And then they did a circle around, and then <laughs> yeah, suddenly yeah. became a high school fucking <laughs> dance off. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, some of them stabbing each other in a fucking knife fight. It had to have been. They probably had like lines. these masks on, too. Fucking frightening. People get furious over that shit. You wait in line. Well, think about it. You wait in line for two and a half hours, and someone just walks in front of you. Yeah, no, you got to suffer, too. Go fuck yourself. No, it's so true. And that's happened so many times. You're like, what the fuck, man? I want to get on the ride, too. Oh, that's the pirate one. We'll get to that in a second. Yes, 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 y'all. Uh, or maybe then he kept stabbing because he was trying to get further in line. So everyone in front of him, he just killed. He's like, uh, this line's moving quicker. So also in 1987, a 15-year-old boy was shot in the parking lot um, during what started as a confrontation between rival gang members soon erupted into violence. It's the Mickey Mouse gang versus the Goofy gang. Like what gang goes to two different gangs go to Disneyland? The Bloods in the Crips. They're like, we were here. Uh, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> like, it's like cat and the dogs. It is weird. Dog I dog. wonder what. Yeah, what gang erupted? Unless it was like, <laughs> Pookie, why were you at the fucking? You at, why were you why are you go Disneyland? This is our park. You're supposed to be at Six Flags. <laughs> it's just like. 
This is like we claimed territory on this park two years ago. That's exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what's. Uh, you ever watch Cobra Kai with all the high school kids? No, no. They have like a gag. That, that, that scene exactly happened at a water park. Really? Yeah, it was like that exact same thing. Like, no, this is our territory. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking funny. dumb. I, so yo, weird. I just got this cool fucking uh, image in my head. So when I said cat dog gang, so all the disney <laughs> characters are in like a picture and like it's depicted that one side's all these vicious cats and they're like all suited up and armed up with like guns and knives and the other side's all the dogs yeah. and then right in the middle you have the cat dog from nickelodeon <laughs> and it's like folded in half and they're like at each other's throat <laughs> that'd be a sick picture yeah be fucking cool. weird that a gangs are uh shooting a 15 year old at a, a parking lot in, in disney world or land wherever this whichever place it was in 2012 a young man's body was found near the mickey and friends parking structure although it was thought that it was a suicide at the time there was no witnesses to report that he had jumped so i love how they just can't call it a parking. it's like no this is mickey and friends parking structure that's donald and friends parking structure that's (laughs) Nobody, Scrooge nobody McDuck's really knows parking structure. what happened on that faithful day in the parking lot or the, the whatever it is called the parking structure. Sure. Okay. Sure. Well, it's not a lot. It's like tiered parking yeah. is a structure. In 2013, there was two. Sure. Like it's not a thing. Yeah. Sure. In 2013, there was two small explosions in trash cans in the Toontown area. That's fun. In the uh, Toontown area. Which is Ooh. kind of fun because you would think that it would like, you know, in Toontown, right? Like there's a lot of explosions going off. Yeah, there's you don't like, even know. What's someone's going on. pulling out a gun, and everyone panics, and it like shoots out the. That'd be bags. the perfect place to do it because everyone would think it was like on purpose. Yeah, it's true. That's kind of interesting, actually. I know, and uh, it caused the park to be evacuated. Over two trash can fires. Yeah, but they saw. They said they saw a bearded man with a turban, and it was just the perfect time for Osama bin Laden to come back from the dead to cause two small, another two small explosions. It's extreme. I'm not saying that's wrong. It's an extremely possible possibility. Yeah, I I just listened to David Icke's uh, whole thing on London Real about his book that he wrote recently about 9-11, and it was a fun time. Fun time to listen to that at work. Uh, So so the cause... Have you ever tried listening to like things that make you happy? No. Have you ever tried? I have. Just once? But like, I listen to comedy shows, but they're mostly about murder. No, no, not not comedy. I'm talking like, like... like positivity books, motivational stuff. For what am I going to be motivated for? The future that either Klaus Schwab is going to enslave us or Russia is going to blow us up? Which one do you want to live in? Yeah, see how <laughs> see how that, yeah, you haven't is the short <laughs> answer to that. Okay. <laughs> so uh, the cost of the explosion was a, a bottle filled with dry ice. Uh, that's like, not, that's not a big deal. Yeah, but you don't know what it was. You can right? blow off your hand like, with dry ice, yeah. though. So, and soon a 22 year old. Some kid's uh, going to be handless around here. <laughs> confess to detonating the bombs. Fuck off. It's not detonating. a bomb. It's like I went to school for and a long shaking time. Shaking up a water bottle. Okay. And then throwing it into a garbage can. I wonder if he like had like a twirled mustache and like was like a super villain looking guy. You know, because it's Toontown. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be French. They're always French. Yeah, villains are always French, man. Look at Trudeau. Uh, he was sentenced for the misdemeanor. every goddamn sentence is like it's always unnecessary. Should, should be a drink uh, drinking game with me. He was sentenced for a misdemeanor of possession of a destructive uh, device. That's fun. Possession That's fun. of a, destru- a destructive device. Yes. Meaning dry ice. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pull up my anarchist cookbook soon. And we're going to have some fun. You know what I did when I was a kid? <laughs> I, I learned about dry ice when I was younger. And I thought that just meant like you had to like unwet the ice. So like <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, I had it out oh in the God. sun and it kept melting and I, was, I didn't understand how to make it. Uh, employees often <laughs> speak of the atrocious treatment of the cast members at the park by both guests and higher ups. A common complaint is about the lack of water and the strict rules imposed on them, uh, portraying characters in mascot costumes. He, there, so they, there's literally a uh, heat stroke. Every time you talk, there's a static in my ear. Ah! <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's it's only when you talk. Mine doesn't do it. Yours does, though. Ah! No, I think your cord's fucked up. Is what I'm saying. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I sound fine. Now it's better. Yeah, it was better. 
Ah! Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> God damn it. All right, while we're waiting, let's just read Dutch comments, and then we'll get back into this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Live and learn. Damn it, Tom. Carry on, kid. Yes. All right. Back to it. But did they die? <laughs> Employees often speak of the atrocious treatment of the cast members at the parks, both guests and higher ups. A common complaint is a lack of water and strict rules imposed on You're not allowed water characters. Yeah, it's like Woodstock 99. Uh, obviously, in, in the strict rules, supposedly that characters and mascot costumes, uh, that they have a lot of strict rules. Heat stroke oh, you is can't frequent. ruin the fucking kids. Yeah, yeah. you can't take off your fucking mask. Yeah, heat stroke is, is uh, frequent among those cast members who perform in uh, in good old mascot uh, mascot rules, you know? Yeah, that's fair, too. And I get that rule. It's like, look, you can't, like, distraught the kids. It's like we made this image like figure it out like fucking run away take off your mask and hiding have a bottle of water fucking do what you need but, like... figure it out <laughs> or yo you could always fucking grab water you put it in your fucking inside of the costume tape it and then like put your arm somehow back in the costume and like drink it under the mask <laughs> that looks fucking scary man <laughs> look gay together they are gay together <laughs> donald's gonna suck mickey dry <laughs> is that mickey's tongue Give is that your, a tongue? I don't know. It's supposed to be his like mouth, his like thing. I don't know what they made it out of, but it doesn't look good. Do your best goofy impression. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's your best. Uh, what's the sentence he usually says? Uh -huh. I, I can't do it. You, you got to do the. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you do skateboarding is dangerous over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Can you do uh, Mickey? Mm. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, Mickey. I can't do it. Hold on. I've never tried to do that voice before. Um I need to hear it again. Can you play a quick Mickey clip? No, I don't have access to that because my computer's over there. Um like I can mimic it, but it's been like 15, 20 years since. There's always all sex to little girls. Oh. <laughs> no, that's there's Hot South dog. Parks Mickey. <laughs> Mickey Mouse clip. We're getting a quick Mickey Mouse clip right. here. Mickey Mouse. Uh -huh. oh, Mickey. <laughs> uh, raw cuts there, bud. Raw cuts. Mickey Mouse voice. There's how to do a Mickey Mouse voice impression. Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> Mouse <laughs> wits. <laughs> Mauschwitz. There's okay. a Donald Duck one, but I'm not going to bother. I can't do that. Employees you often just, speak. You just pretend like you're fucking sucking on the dick like you usually do. Yeah, you're sucking on the dick? Gagging on the dick. <laughs> He's a Nazi. Um, employees often speak. Oh! <laughs> That's got to get cut. Have you seen that? What? A clip? clip oh my god why are you so far away from you've never fucking seen that no the uh the it's a clip i think it's a mickey mouse clubhouse and donald duck wakes up from uh his bed and he looks over and there's a shadow on his wall and it looks like someone doing this and he's just like he wakes up he's like rubs his eyes like hey oh and then like he looks over it's just a statue with the sun shining on it and he's like oh <laughs> He's like, that was damn, Donald. That was fucking close. All right, I'll just cut it from here. Let's just get into it. Okay. Often, employees speak about maybe, the, you know, the atrocious treatment of cast members at the park, both guests and higher ups. A common complaint is a lack of water. They only get water, Billy. Or lack of. I don't. I don't drink water. What do I, you drink? Beer. Beer. I've yeah. had water. Honestly, that's it's bad. I probably have maybe a total of one bottle of water a month. That is horrible for you. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. Yeah, until you're not. I'm immortal. All right, bud. Uh, I bet <laughs> I still live longer than all of you off pure fucking alcohol. <laughs> no, um, when Billy dies, we're definitely gonna have to bury him so he can have a gravestone that says I'm immortal. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Dude, I love that. And then, awesome. and then, like you know, a hundred years, someone's gonna fucking dig you up and be like, "He said he was immortal." And then you're gonna be like this with your fucking middle fingers up. <laughs> I am immortal. 
Um, or he's like, oh, you are immortal. It's like, <gasps> Jesus, I just fainted and Tom thought I was dead. <laughs> it's like, what year is it? <laughs> Fucking funny. Or I was just passed out drunk. <laughs> yeah. So fucking they, wake me up. You didn't even try the Mickey Mouse poker. <laughs> yeah. So and then there's obviously, you know, the, the heat stroke caused by um is often is often a, a hot as fuck in there, yeah. man. In the mascot costumes, yeah, they, they say that there's a lot of heat stroke going on. A lot of people are getting too uh hot and moist up inside those costumes. Yeah, that's like fucking like walking out midsummer just completely decked to the nine and all your airflow circulation cut off. Yeah, I know. Put on true. snow pants, dress like the winter and the summer, and then put something over your head, and then, yeah. Oh, we'll get to that in a second. Mickey's gross. Uh, you'll said. see. You'll see. I clicked that a little too soon, but uh, so obviously, and then there's uh, you know, all there's you know a lot of bad things going on at, at Disneyland, and uh, there's I'm, a lot of fucking static. Do you not hear that? No. It's probably the headphones. Oh, I hear that now. Yeah. Weird. I don't know. Check. It's better now. I don't know. Okay, others have reported sexual harassment. Ah. And other forms of abuse. Be, abuse. <laughs> and other forms. Others have reported sexual harassment and other forms of abuse, both from guests and their managers. What type of sexual harassment do you think is going on? Today's standards are real sexual harassment. Real sexual harassment. What do you think Mickey would say? You say real sexual harassment? Yeah, what would you say? There is none. <laughs> Fucking Andrew they always want over it. Here. <laughs> what, 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 would, what would Mickey say if he was sexually harassing a, a, a woman or a girl or a boy, whatever the fucking people are nowadays? How do you do that voice again? That's how we sell sex to little girls. Oh. Bitch was asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe she shouldn't have dressed in a little skirt. Oh, <laughs> so, this is so stupid. Some guests have. What do they always do? They all do a whole, but in different voices. You got Goofy, you got oh. <laughs> uh, oh, it taint tickles. <laughs> no, I don't know what that means. Uh, so, um, Maybe if you tickle your taint, that's how you do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, some guests have reported altercations oh, we with asked, cast members. We asked what the fucking sexual harassment was. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was his answer. Tate tickles. I almost said Tate tickles. I was like, Andrew Tate loves to tickle. I don't know. Fucking, he's in jail for no reason. Um, so some there's some uh, guests who have reported altercations with uh, cast members. That probably, I, I don't even know how that would go down. The thing's fucked. <laughs> I can't make it stay in one fucking place. Okay, I'm fucking God, man. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. You fucking noticed what I was trying to do. I was trying to do it discreetly. It was pissing me off. Uh, I, I, it, I'm, I'm sure that some of the cast members get annoyed. Like I told you about when I was at Wonderland, and it was like, um, it was the haunted, uh, the haunted night, the haunt, or whatever. Yeah, the, the haunted Hollywood, night. or the Wonderland haunt, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, I got you. And uh, someone was in a costume, and I fucking did the whole uh, tap their shoulder, and then like walked away. And then I saw him like talking to like the security guards, and was like pointing at like me, and I was like, "Come on, fuck!" I, like, like fuck you, bud. I could tap you on the shoulder. Calm down. And it was just some like fucking kid. Like some seven, eighteen year, seventeen, eighteen year old kid. This is like I tapped you on the shoulder, bud. Oh, you tapped him on the shoulder and You're walked away. You're lucky I didn't grab you by the pussy because you probably have one, you little bitch. Why didn't? You, why did you tap him on the shoulder? Just for fun. Yeah. That, that's fun. <laughs> it's the oh, I made him look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that nuts? That motherfucker will never get that neck wrapped back. <laughs> <laughs> One woman sued Disney in 1976, claiming that a cast member portraying one of the three little pigs. Oinked her dick. What? He oinked on her. What? Oh, man. You think when pigs come, they go. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. That's, that's actually one of the funniest things you said today. <laughs> <laughs> so this was probably the same time error, actually, which is weird. We're showing an image of like these the creepy three little pigs. This was in 1976, and um, 
they're saying that uh that that it, oh it's one of the three little pigs and it's a small world attraction sexually harassed her going as far as to grope her that's nice is that, that, is that harassment who are you groping billy i'm just asking who are you groping who am i not groping <laughs> um there was seven people i saw in walmart yesterday <laughs> It's how I say hello. Yeah, that's in my culture, man. I grab I, you, you right by the testicles of the pussy. My God, there's such a way. Uh, there's got to be such a way to utilize this whole. I want to utilize this culture's fucking rules against them so badly. Oh, I, I just want to like find a way to walk out and be like, no, I identify as a groper, <laughs> and you can't get mad at me for that. This is how I say hello. I'm expressing myself. <laughs> just uh, dye your hair blue. And then you'll be able to get away with murder. I express of myself genitals. through murder. <laughs> nice. I like that. My God. Wait, wait till this gets out of hand a little further. Courts are going to have to address it. <laughs> You're going to be like, this is getting fucked. Or undress it. <laughs> <That's stupid. laughs> I identify as no clothes, man. <laughs> yeah. I only am naked. I'm, I'm not never nude. I'm an all nude. Well, I was I, I actually watched a uh, video on uh, on the old me. Chinese app and um the ticky talk and this chick was 17 and she was just at her gym and she like was showering and got out of the shower and there was this, this dude walking around naked and she was like what the fuck and she like got into the like actually like went to like a bathroom stall because they had a flimsy their flimsy little shower curtains and got dressed went up talked to the gym and uh it was a, a trans person but they were allowed under some sort of there's some sort of thing that they can identify as or whatever like kind of like it's almost like a, I don't know what it I is but it's like a, a almost like a card or some shit where it could be like oh, I'm part of this so like I actually am uh, a transgender so I can use this stuff it's almost like a loophole or something like that it's not a card but there's like ways around how they're able to do this when they're biologically born either one usually it's males because males are more predatorial than women and uh the gym's not doing anything about it they're like we can't really do anything da, da, da. and it's just like what a weird world we live in and because she was like i'm thinking something just fall either you fucking can't you're canceled it, it is weird because um because she was saying she's like i it, you know it's enough for me to be like uh freaked out by but she's like i bring my five-year-old niece here uh sometimes for the gym in the summer and stuff like that she comes and works out with me or like you know does some of the uh the, the whatever that she or there's a it was a ymca so she's like she goes to camp here and stuff like that sometimes Ooh. and uh they're allowing it so it's there's nothing you can do about it, man. It's eventually, not like it's going to get too far. It's either that or you shut down your business. Yeah. You're like, okay. Yeah. You have you have seven kinda, you people outside have me. with fucking blue hair and. Oh, you got a lot more than seven. Yeah, I know. There's, they roll there's in good, tribes. There's a good seventy thousand barricading my door right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. When Billy gets home, there's going to be a mob of fucking people outside of his house. My God. <laughs> I'd laugh. I, I would laugh. I would not. I, I would find that shit so fucking funny. <laughs> Billy. Oh, Billy, the serial groper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not. No, stop. you're making fun of me about my disability. <laughs> I've accepted it. And this is who I am. And you now have to also accept that. I'm going to write a very strongly worded letter <laughs> to your employer, <laughs> and he's going to fire you. <laughs> so crazy. Disney disproved this. Uh, 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 this bu Disney disproved by this presenting the costume, which had a short inner operated arm that made it impossible for the cast member to grope anyone while in the costume. So they're like, fuck you. They instantly added that. Like, she's like, get the guy in there. Like, a back groping room. machine. She's like, what, 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 uh, uh, what did you say you do? Like, like I, she said, I groped her. Did you? No. And then, and then he's like, wait, we're going to think of a plan. So you're going to put your arm in the sleeve. And now look, you have no arms. <laughs> it's like, you can't grow. That's what their excuse was. Was the costume was unable to be a, to grope. And it's just like, if you're a groper, you're going to fucking grope. Oh, I'll find a way to grope. Marcy, that word and more, it's weird. 
gropey grope grope <laughs> so and, and i didn't even microdose today just so everybody does like the first time in a long time you didn't do it and you still felt the need to mention <laughs> yeah, that is true and that's why there's mushrooms on the new logo <laughs> shane wanted to add in 1981 um and in 1981, a 1978 incident between Winnie the Pooh and a little girl went to court. Wow. So three years later, um, Pooh, not Pooh, man. Winnie the Pooh went oh, to court. Oh, for- father. Oh, that was the guy that grew up there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, father. Of course, Winnie the Pooh did. Winnie the Pooh, has anyone never noticed? Buddy wears a t-shirt, but no fucking <laughs> yeah. pants. <laughs> His dick's just out. I want this guy to go into court in the Winnie the Pooh. And then when the caution when he gets sentenced to go, like, oh, bother. <laughs> Takes off the Winnie the Pooh costume and he's dressed the exact same. <laughs> it's just a short red t shirt on a very <laughs> obese pants. man, just completely naked. <laughs> yeah, you can't even see his dick. Oh, bother. <laughs> Uh, fucking crazy. <laughs> and the girl's parents claim that the cast member portraying the lovable bear had slapped their daughter. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> That's not crazy. It is. I'm. I'm sure this probably fucking. Take your girl some balls. <laughs> That's Let's go crazy. fuck some bitches. Like who knows if she's like maybe hugging him and he's like, hey, whatever. It's almost my break. Get off me. And then she's like, Winnie the Pooh, and it keeps going, and he's not like being verbal about it. Um, and then just eventually he's just like. Boom. Slaps her. I don't know. Like, how does this shit happen? You got to be, you know, and you hire, you can hire anyone. It's always two stories. Is there? There is. Is there? Billy's going to court next week over his alleged groping that he has done to too many people to name. Uh, Funny enough, I'll name them. There's 72 <laughs> and uh, none of them have proof. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like I didn't do it. <laughs> I got OJ's lawyer. <laughs> I'm, I'm good <laughs> yeah you're gonna put on the glove like this that's what he did he like stretched his hand out when he tried to it put on doesn't the glove. fit <laughs> it doesn't fit because you're not trying to even make it fit uh and anton actually weirdly wants to do that uh case where i'm where i was surprised where he was like oh i want i want to do oj and i was like you can you you want to write it out you want to do it like research it because like i know that obviously man i've watched all the shows and stuff yeah like and he definitely did it um so the cast member and he definitely argued yeah. that everybody uh, knows that. that the little girl had been tugging on his costume, and of course, it, he turned around and accidentally knocked her over. It's like I just got a really powerful turn. It almost sounds like a slap. It's like whoop, whoop. just a weird, like a and powerful I see, turn. I Buddy, I do that. I do hip thrusts all day in the gym. So anytime I turn my body, my arms just go. <laughs> Damn, I I could kind of see that. In, in some way of like tugging on the costume, tugging on the costume. Maybe he has another kid in front of him. He's doing something, walking around, and whatever, right? Off. And then he turns, accidentally knocks her over because you can't, you can't really see in those costumes, I'm sure. And then the mom is like a camera, and she's like, "Did you just fucking stop my daughter?" And she's like freaking out. And then yeah, it goes like to that where it's like not. You know, if if that was an accident too, and someone freaked out like that, I'd be like, "No, no, no I didn't." They kept freaking out. I'd be like, "I wish I did slap your fucking daughter." Hey, piece of shit. I, I, I fucking am such an, a poker. <laughs> I'll always poke in those situations. Pop, 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 poker, Billy. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, Stupid. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and uh, it's so crazy. Ah, oh, I knew it. What'd you I, know? He showed up in court in the costume. <laughs> well, he's trying to prove his innocence. He's like, look, how the fuck was I supposed to? <laughs> Which convinced the jury that the arms in the costume wouldn't have allowed the cast member to slap a child of the victim's height. So he got away with murder slapping <laughs> in February 2012. The situation was reversed when an employee encountered a 52 year old man near the Tower of Terra two months after your meltdown. The man allegedly <laughs> drunk assaulted an employee who pepper sprayed him. I got questions. Why? Why does the employee have pepper spray? In case, like, shit goes south. You know, protect yourself. Protect yourself, son. See, if I get spayed, sprayed, spayed, if I get sprayed with pepper spray, I would do exactly what he did, and I would continue uh, fighting until other guests had to subdue him. If someone sprayed me with pepper spray just because I was kind of drunk at Disneyland, you know, I would, uh, 
I'd be pretty pissed. I, I don't think you would do shit. I think you'd be fucked. Yeah, it hurts a lot. Yeah. I, I, pepper spray? I don't think I've been bear maced. When did you do that? It wasn't it, like it wasn't directly. It was in like proximity contact where that shit still fucking burned. Somebody thought Billy was a bear. No, it was a joke. <laughs> it was a fucking prank and it was stupid. Was it? How'd it feel? It burned like fucking holy hell for like a week. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that long. It was like it was like a day, maybe a day and a half, but still, like it was a long time, like fucking barely. And I wasn't even like it wasn't me directly. Like I was a good little stop. It was a good. I was a good little bit away from him, but yeah, yeah. this shit was fucking dumb. <laughs> Would it be Billy if it wasn't dumb? I get myself into a lot of really stupid situations. Up until two thousand one. Disney cast members that worked at the most famous theme park had endured one of the most ridiculous and quite frankly gross costume guidelines imaginable. What do you mean gross costume guidelines? Oh, you will find out. All right? You will find out. Okay? What the fuck happened? I'll tell you what happened. Uh, (laughs) Disney used to force... It's cast members to wear the same underwear, underwear, oh jock straps, and tights, and they weren't allowed to launder the clothes at home, relying on only Disney staff to wash them. If that doesn't sound Why unhygienic to you, Why then they? expect to be surprised. I couldn't. They? What's the problem? They couldn't take them home to be washed. They had the people on the premises, the the people that work at Disneyland, had to wash the underwear at the park. Supposedly, they could. I don't know why they they couldn't uh, wash their own their own underwear. And why they had to actually wear underwear that they were given. You know, and you would just bring your own underwear. But you, you couldn't. You're getting bag checks for underwear? Yeah, you couldn't do it. They wouldn't you- allow you in those costumes because you're going to soil them. But it actually made it worse because many of the employees complained that they caught skin diseases like ringworm, whatever that says, pitoralysis rosy. See, I don't know what that says. That sounds like an asshole. Hurts. Pit, pit, riasis rosy. No, I don't. Pit rice is I, I don't care. Sure. Scabies and lice. Oh, lice. Ugh. Scabies. Ew. I'm saying, how does lice come from that? What do you mean, how does? Lice? Lice from, like, body hair and stuff. And then people wearing the same stuff. And then people weren't washing the you underwear, get, get obviously, properly. hair from not washing it? I thought it happened. Or it is cleanliness. I don't know. It, the lice end up fighting. People had lice. People got scabies. People got all sorts of stuff. Ringworm is also fucking disgusting. They're gross. I'm just very confused as to where lice came from. I don't know. Look it up there, fuckface. I'll fucking, I'll fucking look that up there, fuckface. Watch me. <laughs> watch, watch me fucking look this up. You are a sad, strange little man. And you have my pity. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, are you going to look up how you get lice? Is that the plan? Uh, yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, well, we're waiting. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, imagine in crabs because, like, I don't know, you could probably get crabs. Some, if someone had some sort of sex disease, man, and then nobody really washes underwear properly. Uh, disgusting. How do you get lice? Contact with an already infected person. There you go. Yeah, but so okay, that means they're switching up their underwear, and somebody had pubic lice. Because is no. pubic lice a thing? Yes. Oh, for sure. Oh, pubic for sure. Lice. Don't look. I dare you to fucking image that. That shit. Oh, pubic lice is fucking crabs. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, I'm dumb. Isn't that disgusting? Because like, you would go there. Get your underwear for the day, and then if somebody didn't wash it properly, or it's just like, oh, uh, they're like kind of. I didn't realize pubic it. lice was called crabs. Yeah, I think I just typed public, not pubic. Oh my god, Billy! Oh my god, I did sir! Public Billy lice. is a nuisance. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just crabs. That's what crabs. Yes, are. the crab louse. 
or <laughs> cubic louse is an insect that is obligated. Or Are you ob- retarded? Kind of. <laughs> feeding excessively on blood. Okay, we can stop talking about this anytime. The disgusting this rule has since been <laughs> overturned, but only Disney workers from five different, five different group unions, five different unions, forced the company to change its policy, which uh, affected an average of 25,000 workers that had to wear the same underwear that wasn't washed properly, get in these costumes, and then get shit like lice, Probably some sort of crab, scabies, ringworm. That's (sighs) That's gross, eh? Pubic lice is crap. That could have been a fun fucking fact. My mind's blown right now. Yeah. Should be, bro. Disney. It's Disney. Gain is for your anus. Don't. They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> you, you, you know this one was coming, of course. There's What's tales that? of a man behind the empire. Oh, there we Still go. stalking his park. The story, of course, is a little more chilling than one might imagine, though. Though the ghost believed to be Walt hasn't caused any harm, the story goes that he likes to tickle the asses of little children, boys and girls all around the park, as he takes his lizard tongue and cleans their assholes dry. Oh, oh he was, Do you think this is where Michael Jackson got all his motivation from? <laughs> I'm just asking. Yeah. He, so- he liked to make... He, he built amusement parks. He likes to eat ass. That's ignorant. That's ignorant. That's ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. That's funny. That's just ignorant. Yeah, Don't that's say ignorant. that. That's ignorant. <laughs> so crazy. So yeah. Um. Supposedly, Walt's uh, Walt's reptilian ghost is is supposed to be walking around the park, but he's like his ghost is like walking around while he's like, eh, any time now, people. My body is down there waiting to be revived. And then it would be like I don't. I wonder if like they revived him, would his soul go back in his body? Probably not. Like if they, it'll probably be like some sort of like, uh, and it, like you know some sort of robot or what's that thing from Dragon Ball Z? Um, what are they called? Androids. Like an oh, android, android, like fucking Walt Disney. It's doesn't isn't that in Family Guy? And then he like freaks out. They wake him up from his like coma, and he like starts like killing people. And yeah. Shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Or is that uh, American Dad, maybe? It might be. It's fucking funny. I don't remember. Like, I, do, like, I do remember that, though. He's like super strength and shit. So, yeah, supposedly he hasn't caused any harm. Story goes that cast members would find uh, the light in his apartment on Main Street uh, constantly turned back on after closing. So who knows if the ghostly figure of Walt Disney is around. Uh, or just a bum just found a place to live. <laughs> yeah, Everyone's too scared to go check it out. He's After- like, I got a free fucking pad here. I love gonna, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, wait till everyone leaves. He <laughs> takes like the costumes and he surrounds him with them. And he like talks to them while he's drunk because he's lonely. <laughs> Or he kidnaps, he kidnaps the chick that plays like Snow White and be like, later on, when you fall asleep, I'm going to give you a little kissy kiss. <laughs> I, lo- I, love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Like what we talked about last time. That, yeah. that so fucking, crazy. Like, like that's actually what happened, but it's like somehow a love story. Yeah, because the prince shows up and was like, oh, hey, it's 15 year old girls asleep. Let me kiss her to wake her up. <laughs> I read a scroll in the real in the in the real the original story. He uh, he goes below the belt though. He uh, he kisses her on another pair of lips. He kisses those lips. <laughs> but y'all don't say that. You don't say that though. <laughs> so uh, this is also creepy. After one cast member claimed to hear the voice, "I'm still here." They decide to leave his vacant apartment lit permanently as a. Uh, a memorial to him and a, to appease his lingering molesting spirit. That's fun. I, I don't think that says molesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th- I think you added that word. It, it, okay, either way, that is kind of creepy, though. If you're like kind of just like, you know, you keep seeing it getting turned on all the time. Yeah. yeah. Just like Minnie does to uh, her boyfriend as Mickey slits his wrist. Check out the last episode for that fucking tidbit of information. It was a good one. Uh, in 1980s, a woman riding the famous Matador the matador roller coaster um which this is the matador it's it goes through like a mountain and stuff like that so that's kind of fun 
uh, named Dolly Young. Like all these rides look fun. They do. I feel like I'd have a good time here. Would you? I'd enjoy it. Would you have fun at night? Yes. <laughs> Man, like look at the, that the creepy fucking... clown. <laughs> We're showing this like it's, I, it's, I it's love uh, the, the water uh... park at night. It's a clown and it's frightening. And the hair is like the steps and stuff. That's scary. I love like that. <laughs> that was their idea. <laughs> yeah. But like it's almost like when people's faces get put on the side of buses. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen a face on the side of a bus and looked at it and went, Oh, that's a really good photo. Yeah. No, they're always stretched oh, and look gross, and they all look like fucking serial killers. <laughs> Every last fucking one of them. Or so, park benches. Yeah, in the 80s, a woman riding the Matador roller coaster named Dolly Young was thrown from her bobsled and killed by an un- uh, oncoming sled. That's oh, fucking fuck crazy me. because, like, essentially it's going decently fast. You're thrown out of it. And then as you're thrown out of it, at the same time, another one comes back and fucking smokes you. 20 points. 30 if she died. (laughs) That's fucking crazy, man. So whether or not she deliberately unbuckled herself or the belt malfunction was never solved during the investigation. Oh, what do we want to do? You should know pretty quickly when you try to buckle it back and it doesn't let go or it does i could just go. see mickey and like goofy trying to figure out they like come in and they're like trying to figure out what the hell happened here well, we got this coppers <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're good we can figure this out uh but to this day cast members who worked on the ride claim that the story of her ghost lingering lingering at the ride are true a few have reported strange sounds while doing their nightly walkthrough of the ride track after closing, and some mm. refuse to go near that area of the ride, which would be frightening. Like, we're getting, doing the night shift kind of thing of, like, just the security or whatever who would be there to, like, look after yeah, the rides yeah. at night. It'd probably be a pretty creepy creepy time, you know? It'd be fine. You're fine. You think so? Yeah, you're fine. Especially, like, going past that <laughs> this place. But like, I don't want to walk past the. I love it. Would you? Would you walk through the mouse and try to fuck it? Billy's like. I mean, if you in can. And out, in and out his body. <laughs> it's like a. It's a clown with a big wide mouth open and and some fun hair. It's a fun time, you know. You know what isn't a fun time nowadays? So uh, this one should be no surprise. If anything in the park is going to be haunted, it probably would be the park's resident ghost theme attraction, right? Uh, the good old haunted mansion, the haunted mansion in both California and Florida parks have attracted guests who wish to lay their family members to rest at the creepy corridors of the ride. Oh yeah. Why? I mean, why? Why would people do that? Lay their body, the, the, the people that they love to rest. I don't know. In the, in the front of there dropping ashes within the mansion is constantly happening constantly people are just dropping off their that's their, what i'm saying why their, their their fucking loved ones cremated ashes people do a lot of weird stuff they're like my dad really loved disneyland i uh, his favorite ride was the haunted mansion um so i i just want to leave him here when my parents die, I'm going to snort their ashes like I'm Ozzy Osbourne. If you, and I'm sorry, I'm going to trigger some people. If you have <laughs> such little going on in your life that a ride at an amusement park is where your family thinks that you're going to be happiest. You know what? Actually, change my mind. Tease throw. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> That's Never fucked mind. to me, but okay. Billy's a strange one, isn't he? That's fucking weird, man. No, no I don't want to rest you in the mountains of Bali or fucking just the coast of costa rica Ma- or somewhere you bali <laughs> that's what you that's what you want to be like no i'm just saying like something beautiful like a beautiful scenery of being like oh like he would he would have loved this now like inside an amusement park that's like me fucking you know i'm gonna t- do with if you die like, before me i'm gonna do the hereafters i'm gonna put them on a ouija board i'm gonna come onto it and they're gonna light it on fire there's cool. some occult ritual. I wonder, I wonder what happens. I <laughs> you, if I come back. you come back from the dead, but you're like a fucking demon or some shit. Like, what? I was in heaven. Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> if I fucking come back, if you fucking resurrect me back from the dead, I will 
fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I will ghost fuck you back, back to the sexual to ghost things. I will, I will fucking ghost fuck you. <laughs> and I won't care. And I won't care. So, um, so fucking crazy. Yeah. So a lot of this has happened all the times. People are just dropping. It's happened constantly where one cast member um, uh, has um dissuaded against for decades oh, i don't know what, what they're talking about turns out so according to one cast member turns out a woman dropped the ashes of her son in the ride a, uh, a long ago as a result is his ghost is often seen crying at the ride exit it's not sure his ghost is probably in a vacuum cleaner why is he crying though that's funny <laughs> why is he cr if this is where he wanted to go why is he crying every day he gets to see people enjoy and having fun getting scared but i want to ride the ride <laughs> <laughs> i want to hang out with fucking eddie murphy why man do they get to ride the ride why can't i hang out with eddie murphy that's a cool card thing i like that card yeah. thing pretty cool eh? yeah like that's it looks fun neat. and in yeah. retrospect um they have those like 3d 360 attractions i'd um, enjoy it oh, i should have played some of the like because we could have played it in in silence uh, i tend to do that during the the halloween uh special that aaron proceeded to get it's funny because it always gets brought up uh because proceeded to get trashed on is that uh i was showing like these 360 attractions after you dipped out of like we we're watching some of the most famous uh um tom tom tom's cum brings back the dead you never know can't even read the fucking <laughs> can't even read the comments <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, and it's just like it's funny because I always get brought up where I was like trying to show Air, like Aaron and Anton like these cool like haunted houses where mm -hmm. they can, they do a whole walk through through them. Uh, it's just like a, this big YouTube thing. Yeah, they yeah. do attraction stuff, and then I could see Aaron like because you can see the little cameras in the bottom like just like kind of drunk and like top top turn it off turn it like I'm I, I, I gotta turn tell you off. something no you, <laughs> you I gotta like, tell you something. <laughs> it's like what a what a call fun me. time <laughs> call me on this could you call me on the cell phone <laughs> so uh so that's fucking kind of crazy uh many have also claimed to see the same boy at the pirates of the caribbean ride which we'll get to in a bit i've seen a couple boys on rides have you Jeffrey Epstein's uh, island is that because that's where we're going to end it on everybody. <laughs> it's really what's coming up. Okay, be prepared for that. So, uh, anyways, no matter mind, where you go in the world, it seems like there's always a woman in white ready to give you a blowjob. Just, no, just kidding. Give me, give me an early heart attack. I was actually saying this episode got way better it's so quickly. <laughs> well, this one. Where is, is this woman? <laughs> <laughs> well, this one is uh, per, uh, particular who uh this one is particular in particular who lingers in the disneyland seems benevolent according to those who have claimed to have seen her the most prevalent story associated with her is that she is spotted around the main street and guides lost children into the park to the guest services to reunite reunite with their parents overall she seems pretty helpful ghost to have around that's weird She's one of the Molly made ghosts. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. It's it, like, whatever. At least she's doing something like, kind of helpful, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I'm here. Might as well fucking pay rent. So, like, <laughs> so good guys, for those kids. Because I wonder if this is true by any means. If there is like kids that are, are seeing her and this actually has happened where some ghost shows up and like, you know, cause it could be like, Oh, this woman in white, like she, uh, you know how long I've had that vape for? Oh, you're packing peaches, baby. <laughs> you know how long I've had that for? I don't use it all. I've had it for months and I'm trying to make it last. <laughs> okay. Keep oh, it it's almost dead. You can taste it. It's almost dead. Yeah. I've had it for a long time. I don't vape anymore because mushrooms have cured my addiction to everything, but alcohol because I just can't say no. <laughs> I could say no, but I can't. You, you know? don't really have an addiction anyway. I know it's true. Billy does though. Billy goes home every night and he's he holds a knife by his wrist while he drinks beer and oh, not Mickey to alcohol. Mouse. I'm saying even nicotine. Where you're saying microdosing help you do that? No, it was just a finally a conscious decision to not do it. You didn't even 
need the decision because you weren't really addicted as it was. If you didn't have a vape, you didn't really get angry about it. I did. You never I really did. cared that much. I did. I was pretty addicted to nicotine for a while, and luckily, uh, I've kicked said addiction. Uh, but you know, it could come back because there's times where I'm at work where I'm like, I could use a, a couple poofs, not puffs, not poofs. You know what a poof is? <laughs> no, that's a faggot. Um, so <laughs> I, a, feel, I feel like <laughs> <laughs> that's a British I feel, term. I feel like there are times where. I say things that are half that bad, and I get told I'm getting that cut. Um, <laughs> it poof, just saying. Ju- I'm just saying. Am I wrong? Isn't poof a fucking like they? That's what British people call gay guys. You puff or you pay. See, there's nothing wrong with that it, in that in that terminology. But the word you used was what, what sticks? Was... A bundle of sticks. That's all I said. Shut up. You know. Shut, shut up. Just carry on. After this, you want to go for a fag? No. <laughs> where do you get them <laughs> down at the corner store you gotta give a nice blow job for them though okay anyways <laughs> Ming Ling's corner store <laughs> oh, no, never mind could have said something yeah right. that whole thing <laughs> anyways as uh as nice as the lady in white is this story gets back to the more spine tingling side of things. Ah. Well, the ghost himself isn't really all that scary. The story behind it is straight out of a 1980 summer slasher setup. Mm. The story goes that two boys stayed at the park after hours and decided to take a swim in the pond. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Uh, separated by Tom Sawyer's Island from the main park i would love to like know and uh, like have been there to like know where this kind of stuff is kind of is to have the more context the park seems pretty fucking massive like oh, to I even heard, like i've seen it. it's uh, huge yeah like because even like let's say yeah there's no way you'd even remember like you might catch like one or two of those but like there's no fucking way you'd remember where the fuck these things are no it's like even walking around like the edmonton mall let's take it for example like you yeah you I don't know where the fuck there's a roller coaster in there. Yeah, it's massive. So they were swimming in the pond. And uh <clears throat> and the older boy drowned during the night, the late night swim. Since then, many have claimed to see unexplained ripples and splashes in the water late at night. Because supposedly, when they were like they had a contest where if they could see who could reach the because what I, I remember reading about this, it could who could um reach the other side essentially is how it went and they're like seeing if they can reach the other side and then like they couldn't the the younger i heard the younger one uh couldn't make it and then he tried to he saved the older boy or he said the older boy saved the younger boy and because the other one couldn't really keep up and then the older one drowned and now his ghost haunts the the, around the water i know is that spooky spooky Dang. You you went into it so quickly, but there's a funny story there where you said it and then you started talking, so I didn't cut you off. But uh, that Edmonton roller coaster, that's where I lost my tooth. Seriously? Like my fake tooth. Oh. Yeah. So I thought you, oh, no, 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 no. you smashed your face, right? Uh, so, no, um... Danny fucking beat me up. But, anyways, um, <laughs> hey, no, dude. the, uh, I started laughing and like I had a, yeah, I've lost my tooth a couple times. This is like my fourth fake tooth. But one time I was on the roller coaster at that park, I yeah. laughed. It fell out of my mouth. And I swear to God, like right through all the fucking drains, like all the drains, sorry, the metal pieces, I heard it dinging and it was just like gone. And I just, <laughs> and I left the park toothless. <laughs> like my dad beat me. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. Um, ghost, ghostly boys, man. Nothing but ghostly boys creepy stuff man don't get that's that's a, that's someone getting fucked in the shower right there that's Isn't what that picture is nice what do you mean nice <laughs> they're getting fucked the stories about tragedy striking the monorail in the park are unfortunately plenty this one is particular particularly this one particularly since it was the uh, the result of poor judgment on the part of the boy just about to graduate high school he had the, his whole life ahead of him 
changing his gender. <laughs> he attempted to sneak into the park one night by running along the monorail track. That is fucking stupid. Um, when he was spotted by security, he took off running and was killed when the monorail hit him, which is that night. So like, wow. I, I, I was like, shouldn't it be off? But I guess like people stay on the resort, like in the like park, there's like the hotel thing or whatever. Right. So I guess you would keep like some stuff going like the monorail or something like that. The, it's kind of have like the nostalgic aspect if you're looking at a window or something like that. Like that, I, I don't guess, know. That's, yeah, that's why maybe. I would assume why it would be on. But he started running and like they, it's crazy. And he's got like fucking smashed by the monorail. Monorail, like from The Simpsons. You know? That's a that's a way to die. Staff and visitors alike have spotted his ghost, occasionally running along the track. Of the monorail. He's like, I, I gotta do this one more time because I, I feel like I feel like I could have done it, but like <laughs> I it, it caught me last time. Fucking crazy, man. Too crazy. Cause like obviously there's so and it's weird that uh, especially around this specific place, how many people have died? And I was debating on doing this for a Patreon episode, but I think it's gonna be a main show episode. But uh well, whatever, just yeah. Don't even don't even say it. Like, but I, I because I, I think up. it would be worth because this is something I've always wanted to do with you specifically. I'll tell you off air. Uh for anyway. It's something to do with a theme park. Uh and we'll get to it later. But it was I wanted to do a Patreon episode, but it didn't end up happening. Like I want it, I I think it would be worth putting it out there for people. I hate that sound. I hate you rambling off nonsense. <laughs> 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 fuck you, fuck Billy. You, Billy. Ah, I call it. <laughs> fuck you, Billy. Fuck you, Billy. So th- this is another ghost who is claimed to be the spiritual remains of a guest who died on a ride. This time, a little bit of a dark irony to the name. Mr. One Way is the name given to the ghost who supposedly hitches rides with single passengers then vanishes before the ride ends. The name, of course, comes from his fatal one way. Yeah, that'd be trip. fucked. You just fucking get on a roller coaster, but like, he's hey, beside man. you, like you have a full conversation, like halfway yeah. through, you're like, where the fuck could he have gone? <laughs> yeah. But he's gone. I'm by myself. I swear to God, there's a picture. It shows him. He's there. That would be frightening, actually. Like, I I'd fucking lose my mind. That would be pretty scary. Like you're on like a roller coaster. Or, yes, like that wasn't there's no like, oh, OK, I just like I, I didn't see him walk away or he pulled a trick like the buddy's gone. Like, OK, that is fairly creepy that you're just like on a roller coaster or something like that. Like, especially one of the one of these rides where and you're just like, yeah, you, you you're like some 45 year old man. You go to Disneyland by yourself, not for the attractions, but for other reasons. You go to Disneyland by yourself <laughs> as a 45 year old man. Nobody's going to believe that there was a guy beside <laughs> yeah. you. No, the only way that works out is when you have a group of three and you still wanted the joint. So you ended up being uh, the odd one that's out. That's very true. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of 45 men, year old men that do go to Disneyland dressed up like women. The name of, of course, comes from his fatal one way uh, trip on the ride back in the 70s or 80s, depending on who you ask. 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 Am I black guy now? It was in the 70s. (laughs) I was there. I was in the 80s. That's what I heard from the (laughs) newspaper. There's a long standing rumor that Disney hides the true number of deaths that happen within the park. Wouldn't you? To ensure good PR. And this story is supposed to be one of the many they've concealed over the years. According to the rumor, a man who was so frightened of the ride, he suffered a heart attack and died before the end. Yeah, they don't make you sign waivers on that shit. You get sued. Yeah. Do you guys, you don't sign waivers for recording in amusement parks. They must have a lot of liability. To an extent, right? Because, like, you can't, you gotta make it scary, but not too scary. But I'm pretty sure they have notices like that. This is scary to be careful. If you have a heart attack, or maybe they have notices now. Yeah, I'm after, sure it's happened after before. stuff like that. And when we get in the episode that I was talking about earlier that Billy called me up for rambling on, um, it will talk a lot about like liability and you know how much, how much responsibility do you get for that's the noise I make when you start just spewing. I don't think anybody likes that. I don't think anyone likes you spewing. I think there's our bickering. Yeah, that's true. 
Um, people love it though. I'm sure. I'm sure. I hope they do. But whatever. Uh, anyway, so like, this guy had a heart attack, where some people believe he is a permanent resident of the haunted halls. So, and this is the so it's just is, like a bunch of fucking ghosts. This area. is the haunted. Um, yeah, because other than the you know shitting in your own, uh, you know, wearing someone's underwear that they shit in the day before, and a lot of these lot of deaths have happened at Disneyland, according that they're trying to like hide because you would try to, you know, essentially like not let it come out because you want it, you want to market it well and you want to make money obviously from the park. So you wouldn't like, you wouldn't want all this shit coming out. Um, I was so, gonna say when you said they oh, they try to hide it, it's like no fucking shit they did. I would too. I'd be like, people can't know about this. Can we please not tell anybody about this? Yeah, and then uh, Mickey Mouse is like a, a baton. It beats people if they like you. You say anything about this, god dad? I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Put back on your purity rings, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, so we sell sex to little girls. <laughs> so we sell sex to little girls because it's very true. Uh, and you know, if you and I was thinking about that too of uh, of the idea um, on the last episode when we talked about conspiracies uh, because we're bringing it to this to a close soon. We're gonna end it on one big conspiracy to end this this fun two parter of Disney. Is uh, is is the whole idea of like you know like that the, you know w- like that they're training little girls to think that they need a prince charming and all that stuff because that's a big thing and you know, I, really I wish that parents. worked. Disney will raise you. You don't need parents. Disney will raise you. I wish I wish people did think they needed the prince charming, and there wasn't just a bunch of fucking whores. Bro, dress up like a prince from uh from Disney. Put that on a Tinder profile. You'll have lines, lines waiting to ride the attraction of Billy. I'm done. I can, you know, for that. that. That's fair. That seems like a good investment. I'll give it a go. Yeah. Try to Halloween, man. Dress up like a prince from uh, Disneyland, Disney World, Dis- Disney in general. And then uh, put it up on your profile for like two months. See what happens. Be like, I'm your prince charming. I want to, I want to. I want to still do that that Pinocchio. bio, but I, I'm, <laughs> oh, the Pinocchio. Is more. <laughs> I want to do that way more, but I want to do that bio, but I want the picture to be fucking disgusting. I want it to be as gross as I can physically look. I'm going to be like, like hunched funny. over, toothless, and be like, <laughs> just be like, yeah. you want to fuck me? Or Austin Powers. I, I Chicks like that me. shit, though. <laughs> no <laughs> no um so obviously there's long-standing rumors that uh number of deaths as we said and then you have to have good pr campaigns you know people are having heart attacks this one we've already touched on but if nothing else of why we're going to talk about it, is it truly rude in fact you can uh, rest assured and assume that this one is as we mentioned with the crying boy people have taken to the spreading of their cremated their cremated remains of the loved ones across uh, the ride tracks of the haunted mansion mm. as a way for the ride. It's uh, as a way to give the ride. It's infamous 1000 ghosts. Cause there's supposed to be tons of ghosts in there. Mm. The cast members discourage this behavior and often left to clean it up, but it hasn't stopped people all over the world and people for decades dropping the remains of the departed on the ride. And then they have to, like you said, they end up being in a vacuum or like a fucking, and a fucking dust collector. <laughs> yeah, fun stuff. And this is one of the rides that somebody fucking. Not even a ride. That's a cliff. So get this. This there's is like pour water on here. Call it a slide. So there's a couple um attractions that have been closed Look at that down. Fucking spine. Is that weird though? There's been oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're showing um of one of these like uh, water slides, and there is like a portion of the park that is supposed to be haunted that has been closed down. And, and and nobody goes to this side of the park anymore, and it's fucking creepy because there's like that's that's creepy. There's a that's... couple of like roller coasters and rides that have been completely closed down. No, that's creepy because that's when it gets acknowledged. That's when it's like a yeah, we don't know either. Let's just don't go over there. It's... And it's a fairly it, big you portion. can keep it open and it would be less acknowledged. Yep, it's it's time. Is it already? Oh, not that time time for that while you do that i got a funny story it's gonna be a super quick one i realized yesterday that i have a superpower 
and I should be in like some sort of movie for Does it. Does your fucking uncut penis? No, it's I because I don't sleep. With, I sleep with my eyes open. So that's if you think about it, that's a superpower. You know, what my superpower is <laughs> I'm unable <coughs> to get robbed while sleeping. So two things would happen. No, listen, hear, I've been, hear me out. Hear me out. I've two, been over at your house. Two things would happen. Have not moved. Either they would wake up or they'd come in and they'd think I was awake and just glaring them down. And they'd be like, oh, fuck. And then they just leave. Or let's say they didn't leave. And let's say these were like hard ass fucking thugs. And they're like, you know what? Fuck you, motherfucker. And they pulled the gun. They're like, give me your shit. Like, you're awake. Talk to me. And I'm just so stone cold faced <laughs> that they go, this guy's, this guy's going to, this, guy? this guy's going to kill my whole fit. Like, I got to get <laughs> out of here. This guy's hard as fuck. He ain't even scared. But I ain't even scared because I don't even see the gun because I'm sleeping. But then, and then they also just leave. So, yeah. So, because of that, that is my petition. I want to be in like the next Superman movie or like anything Marvel or like something. I'll take what I can get. Wow. Wow. I think wow. it's fair. There's also a bunch of different stuff because there's still tons of rides that will, or, um, we're going to, but also, uh, you just don't, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a yourself. weird superpower. Whatever. But... Just go fuck yourself. Anyways, carry on. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the dolls actually on, uh, well, actually, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but I feel, I saw something on this ride, like some of the, I don't know what this is from the ape. I read upon it, and there's, there's a lot of the attractions will end up. Um, Billy is a cryptid. That's fine. Uh, we're get well, just Dutch wait. Um, I'll cut this, but actually Dutch wait because we got some merch designs coming. Uh, that will be fairly fun for everybody. But there's a lot of rides that end up malfunctioning and all this weird shit happens and like in people get hurt like in a, like there, it's been happened numerous times on numerous rides where people just get fucked up. Uh, but so at the end of suppose actually when the Pirates of the Caribbean ride started, okay, 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 Pirates of the Caribbean. All right, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Pirates of the Caribbean. You know you understand what I'm throwing at you there, bud? Uh, whoops. Um. All the skeletons on the original Pirates of the Caribbean ride are real. Are real. Okay. You can look it up. Uh, at the beginning when they opened Disneyland or Disney World, whatever one was first, uh, they had an agreement with, I think it was like a medical institution or a college. You can look this up. And they used some skeletons, if not all the skeletons, were real. Call bullshit. At the beginning. And guess what? Just to, to, so you have an understanding, a skeleton. Wait, before you look it up, well, kind of just get ready, Googled, right? At, you have to say, because it's going to say the one thing that I want, I'm, we're going to get into in a second. Go ahead. Is that you see this one? See that? Okay. That is a hundred percent. It's as you go through the ride. At the ending, there's a skeleton lounged on a bed to bid you farewell. Turns out the skull used to in this display is, in fact, real human remains. The skull's identity has never been made public, but it's freaky. If you think about it, next time you ride the ride, if you're ever there, because that's a real human skull right there. That the brown looking one above his bed. Uh, I'm skeptical. It's real, bro. And there's tons of different things. Supposedly, when they first did open the uh, ride, they did use all human remains. Not now. They only have one at the end. All right, damn. All right. Sounds unbelievable. But hey, it was a different era in 1967 when the Pirates of the Caribbean first opened. The public to Disneyland, California, majority of skeletons and skulls were on display. Were fucking real. Yeah. Is that fucking weird, bro? I wanted to call bullshit pretty hard. Man, have I ever lied ever? Yeah, probably frequently. <laughs> probably not. Reptilians are going to eat your soul late at night. Okay. Damn. Yeah. I'm actually really shocked that's real. Isn't that crazy? I'll, gi I'll give that to you. That's pretty impressive. Don't know why you're in here, bud. Yeah, I heard that. And then, <laughs> yeah. Just, just uh, okay. Uh, so the Haunted Mansion, as we said, isn't the only spooky ride at Disneyland. In a viral meme, a guest describes a firsthand account of riding It's a Small World. Can you sing the song for me, Billy? It's a Small World? Yeah. Come on. You can do it. That, it's a brand new world? No. It's a small oh, world after, after all. all. Can, can you bring up the full lyrics of the song right now? 
It's a song world after all. <laughs> if Tom wants me to suck his balls, then I <laughs> might do it because I'm drunk. That's really. <laughs> I heard it's retarded or something. <laughs> Okay, just lyrics. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear this just to add this. We're bring this to a close. It's a world of laughter. It's a world of I don't know the tears. Yeah. It's a world of hopes. It's a world of fears. <laughs> There's so much that we all share, and it's time we're aware. It's a song. Oh my god, this whole thing's only two fucking verses. The next one is uh, there is just one moon and one golden sun, and that smile Charlie, means yeah. friendships for everyone. Uh, oh, through nice. the mountains divide and the oceans are wide. It's a small oh, world. world after all. I don't know the tune of the verses, I've never heard so... them. I'm assuming it's kind of the same. Yes. Um, no. Oh, when suddenly God. it stopped oh, and the lights man, came on. Man, I wish I did it one more time. Sorry, can I do it one more time? Okay, go ahead. It's a world of laughter. It's a world of tears. Motherfucker. Chicka, chicka. <laughs> that's what, that's what it's it, I think. It's a world of laughter. It's a world of tears. It's a world of hopes and Oh, hopes my and God. He fucking typed the whole thing. You it, did not type that off knowledge. You Googled that right quick. <laughs> yeah, did you know that? No, there's no way. There's no, he's lying. There's no, even if he says he you does. copy and paste of that fucking thing, <laughs> missing some text, wrap that shit. <laughs> Come on, Billy, kick it. It's a small yeah, world. You gotta give me like a boom, bah, boom, bah. I can't. It's a it. world of laughter, it's a world of tears, it's a world of hope. Nope, a world of fears. <laughs> <laughs> this is much shit. It's, not, it's a small world after all. Ah, uh, so <laughs> this woman obviously all everything came on. She exited the boat. The guest's mother decided to take some pictures, used up on a film roll on their camera, and snap pictures of what looks like a child dangling from the rafters. I mm. wish I could pull this up. To be honest, um, everyone go look it up. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you can find that. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know why they would have that. There. But also in the the, it's a small world. Um, Oh, yeah, quick, okay, quick enough for Billy. Out you go. Out you go. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we used to have a tool bag there to keep my dog. <laughs> uh, Dude, that was some quick reflexes. That motherfucker's fast. Yeah. Oh. So even on this, uh, on the like, it's a small world after. Whatever, fucking god damn it. <laughs> you world. started singing the, it. <laughs> the small world ride. Yeah, you get stoned. Things go downhill. Oh. Um, they're also the dolls supposedly move Ooh, and stuff great. like that. And and it which is fucking weird because there's like st- stories that have been shared about the small world dolls mm. changing their positions, disappearing, and even coming to life. So what they go from like missionary to doggy? Yeah. There's a lot of them. There's all these little dolls, and they all sing to you as you go through this ride. It's fucking creepy. Everyone should. I uh, like. I actually regret oh, yeah. not being able to. Uh, I love. I love seeing fucking dolls sing to me. That happens frequently. Well, <laughs> what are you playing the Ouija board? You have all these possessed dolls around you. You're like, sing to me, dolls. Sing to me. <laughs> that sounds fun. Um, but like, it, that would be creepy as. Fu- I don't like dolls to be good with, especially like Chucky's creepy as it is. Right, we have them in the background, but also like that Megan thing, artificial intelligence. Like, but like. Aaron wants to throw back and do a haunted dolls episode that now is that we did the one we did is on the Patreon because that's a loss. It, it was it was a long time ago. It was it? like I think the I think it was the first or second time you ever came on the podcast. Really? Yeah. So I decided to throw up on the Patreon and uh, we talked about the eBay dolls, which I kind of want to go back to on like a main show episode. Is how you can because now we can do it live on air, probably bring it up and show people. If you go on eBay, there's like a laundry list of eBay dolls where it's like, this is Emily. She is all good nature, but you know, could don't test her and stuff like that. It really sounds hot. <laughs> where, like it's all these dolls and like this doll feels this type of energy. And then some people have like the EMF reader and it'll be like off the Richter, or, like a picture of it. Like, look, she's fucking haunted. If you dumb. should, yeah, you should go back so to the Patreon and listen to that because it's uh, it's, it's like one of them insane. fake diamond testers. 
So to uh, to end this big spectacular what special, we got? Uh, we're gonna talk about. Do you know who worked at uh what worked at Disneyland? Uh, Bill Burr. Do you know who Dolly Parton. Do you know who that is? Christina Aguilera. That's Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein's accomplice. In 1985, look at she's making a nice little speech. Yeah, isn't that a little weird there? Huh? 1985 day. Is that happy. Weird? I feel like they could have been more creative than that. It's Isn't happy that 1985 day. Weird. Yeah, it is weird. So it's a picture of Gis- oh, that's Gis- just the uh, year. Gis- I was Lane reading that wrong. Jizz Lane or whatever this fucking freak show's name is. Jizz or Gobbler. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey Epstein, the the famous convicted pedophile. Her connections to him, obviously trafficking people that they don't seem to have a list of for some reason. She, as what Joe Rogan said, she's the only person to. Uh, be convicted of trafficking to nobody because they didn't expose the list just so everyone has an understanding, but she's at Disneyland and you can see her with pictures around characters and she was either hired for the day or she worked there uh, for a bit. She went there for like a volunteer. And uh, isn't this a little weird? Would you tell me that is that Disney cruise? Uh, Do you know where they used to pass by on their cruise? Little St. James Island, Epstein's Island. And isn't that weird how it seems like Disney's and even Ellen has it in her background, this thing of white and blue. And it's a little strange because that looks just like Ellen from that, that famous show, her background. She has all these, she has palm trees and you can look this up. Really? Yes. She has palm trees and like uh white and blue buildings. You can easily look this up. I actually wish I had it. Cause I didn't know I was going to, this She's is like, going to be a controversial a picture to show. Beautiful face. <laughs> But this is Are those children. Yes. Oh, fuck. Me. Yeah, I know. This is Jeffrey Epstein around kids, uh, essentially. And we don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes. With like those like, fuck, you, you look at pictures like that. And it's like, are those just wholesome? Like, is that his niece? Mm-mm-mm. But like, yeah, I you know. know his I know. Uh, and, I'm just saying, uh, like, yeah, from a subcontext of looking at that, you wouldn't think twice. There is it. theories that he is still alive and that, you know, Epstein. Yeah. It's not is fucked this, up. Like, the Tupac and thing? if you think, no, it, uh, more former Walt Disney vice president sentenced to child sex abuse investigations. And this came out pretty recently. This is 2019. Oh, wow. Um, and so this is what I'm saying when I want, if Billy can read this, uh, for everybody, I'll oh, fuck me. Yeah, zoom that in. <laughs> behind Disney's magical kingdom is a great darkness. Walt Disney was a chain smoker, alcoholic. How dare he? Okay, I can't Keep even. Going. No, I'm saying like, why would you? Okay, you're trying to consp. Okay, the sentence is: Walt Disney was a chain smoker, alcoholic, racist, misogynistic, narcissist. Sorry, like, Mike. I Born know, but like, hold on, wizard. it just keeps going. But it starts off with he smoked <laughs> and he drank, and now all these actual horrible things. Like, if you wanted to include those, to like really make a statement, you should have put it near the end. Anyways, he was a chain smoker, alcoholic, racist, misogynistic, narcissistic. The voice, you were doing it before. Oh, uh, porn king uh, por- and wizard. <laughs> His Disneyland estates have been used for MK Ultra mind control, human trafficking, occult rituals, and parading. Occult rituals. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> I thought that was a fucking. Never mind. <laughs> I'm my eyes are going occult rituals and parading sexual deviance. Walt parading them. Yes. Anyways, Walt Disney is believed to be a secret 33 or 33rd degree Freemason evidenced by his private club 33, we which we got into time. in the last time yeah. in Disneyland that has a Masonic pillars and boras of check checking. I don't know what that is. Chiquin? That's a Masonic thing. A chicken. His famous Cinderella castle was modeled after the Bavarian br- Illuminati castle. There you go. N- New Schwabenstein. New Schwabenstein. Walt Disney was a class. Uh, Walt Disney was a, a class. class a, a class. Oh, no. class A pedophile is what it was supposed to be. A dark occultist. A, I thought I was reading. Yeah. One of his best friends was alistair crowley and jack pa- jack parsons and, and not to mention <laughs> jack parsons and l ron hubbard both luciferians yeah 
pretty crazy. All this shit seems to connect to end this on is. I love how I read one thing and you yeah. still overtake. <laughs> I know, I know. He's like, no, I read way. things. <laughs> it's everywhere. The symbolism, <laughs> man. Here are just a few examples of the one eye symbolism and the note some gesture and imagery of iconic that is a place with each image. other and the organized yeah, yeah, yeah. religions that's, uh, that's <laughs> but essentially like they use these imagery everywhere and now that i've like really started to break down the matrix with the way i think and all the shit that i'm looking into and reading it is it does seem like all this infrastructure that we've built in Chelsea's getting sick of hearing me talk about it, but like Every, <laughs> I am too. <laughs> it's just like it is crazy because everything we eat is poison, everything we drink is poison. Well, everything we're doing oh, I'm is so destroyed. happy you mentioned that. I got the best fun fact. Okay, yeah, isn't that crazy though? It, 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 to me, it, overall, with this encompassing thing, it is weird that you know Ghislaine Maxwell's connection and the fact that Walt has all these occult ties and definitely was a Freemason with a cape on. We saw the fucking uh, the photographic evidence on the last episode. He has a certificate that was signed in by Freemasons. As much as people are like, no, we're a good organization. You guys, I don't think, really know what goes on uh, in the higher levels and how they control shit. Sure. Uh, but what do you think overall? Let me get your impressions of Disney as general person, the land, everything. As like, I just want to know Billy's final closing thoughts. This is a decent place. You should probably bring your kids there. And you should probably leave them unattended because, like, they can only really have fun if you're not around. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and Epstein's like clapping from <laughs> his island that he's fucking staying at right now. <laughs> so crazy. Don't okay. bring your kids there. You only go there as a single 45 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, all right. We're doing this. Yeah. I got a really good one. It's time for Billy's Fun Fact of the Day! It always blows my mind that I used to do that every single fucking time. My and voice then you is screamed strained. it and blew the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I was just chatting with my fucking uh, chat, sitting down last night. I was shooting the shit with my boss, and uh, he's like, You want to know a random fact I've known my whole life, but they just. He just oh. like randomly told me. I was like, that is the coolest, most interesting thing I've ever fucking heard, and I'm using it today. And I fact checked it too. So wait, who's your who's your boss? Is his name rhyme with um um Jeffrey? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Billy's boss is secretly Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, this guy's cool as shit. <laughs> anyways, anyways, so uh I was talking, he was talking about artificial flavoring, and he's like, fuck me, I hate anything artificially flavored strawberry. He's like, it bothers me. I could see that. And I was, he's like, it's just, it always that. tastes like shit. And then I was like, you know what? Like, honestly, I'm like, too. I fucking love it. Like, I love artificial fucking anything. There's not one fruit that really bugs me. But anyways. You love candy? Yeah. Like, I'll only eat so much for? of it. But anyways, I'll only eat so much of it. But anyways, here's the thing. So what, you know what artificial strawberry was originally from? They stopped doing this about 30 years ago. Now it's like much more chemicals. But uh, it originally came from a gland that was extremely close to a beaver's anus. Ew. So the and flavoring... it tastes, and it was like world renowned. Like it was like everyone was losing their mind of how much it tasted like strawberry. It was the and first was a, time they used it was some a sort of beaver artificial... anus gland that tastes like strawberry. You can fact check this. I fact already check. did. Ew. A, what's a gland then? You kill a beaver and then you like open up its asshole and like scare, scrape it out? I didn't look on how they did it. Because <laughs> that's my first question. I'm it's assuming like, yeah. how are you getting this? <sighs> Who murders beavers, man? Do, can you buy beaver shit? What is, <sighs> beavers I'm not left... saying I'm not saying that was the whole thing. It was just an ingredient. So guys, it was like, an okay, how did this guy get to this? So yeah, the though. flavor for strawberry was harvested from a gland very close to the beaver's anus. It was about 30 years ago and it was high quality flavored. It was actually prized, in okay, fact. But it became it was like caviar at that time. Okay, I understand. Don't you have the question? Who is the first guy to be like, this tastes <laughs> like strawberries? Can you think about that? <laughs> Who was doing that? Dude, people are weird. <laughs> I don't know what to tell crazy. you. Well, maybe You're maybe like... you just fucking like cut open a maybe he roasted a beaver one day and he's like, that's my food. Like that, you kill a wild exactly. animal and you fucking cave it. But I'm like, eat it ass first. No, just to no see he probably what ate. It the, he probably ate the whole thing, and then once he got there, he's like, "Why does this taste so <laughs> like, fucking good? Like, where did I get this from?" 
No, it's a guy that like literally had a fucking beaver fetish. It's some Canadian guy with a big beard and he's wearing plaid and he has a fucking axe for some reason because he wants to cut down trees. And then he like finds a beaver and then now he's just like, I, he tries to fuck the beaver first, but he like, had to get it moist. So he licks the ass. So he's like, that tastes like fucking strawberries. Isn't that the coolest fucking that. fun fact that the you've ever fucking heard? I've ever heard. <laughs> That's so cool. As soon as he told me that, I'm like, yeah, I'm using that tomorrow. I'm going to think about that for <laughs> weeks of like how to, who is the first person to realize that this beaver's anal gland tasted like a strawberry? <laughs> like that's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. I just I want to look. Like, I don't have my other computer. Like I I did before. a I did a quick little thing. So like, let me see. Like how many other? Detail? How did they figure this out? This is to end this on. I want to know. We're gonna end on the fucking <laughs> beaver anus. I guess this is a very Canadian. So. At the end of the day, I guess what you could say is if you like beaver's anus, or sorry, if you like <laughs> strawberries, you, you're a Venus anus lover. <laughs> it's funnier because you didn't say it right. A penis anus lover. Oh, Yo, this is the type of crying. this is the type of fucking Google search that gets you put on a hot list. <laughs> Or Why fucking wash list, you, sorry. Who was the first guy to figure that this is artificial? No, flavor? my exact words were Venus anus <laughs> gland strawberry flavored question mark. <laughs> you keep saying Venus and not beaver. <laughs> Does beaver uh, touch flavored your thing. strawberry shortcake? Okay. Decades ago, doing? he explained scientists okay. did ex ex indeed extract a component from a gland in a beaver's tush. And this would, and they would use this portion. Sorry. Oh, uh, and <laughs> decades ago, scientists used compound compounds extracted from a gland in a beaver's touch to help create strawberry and, and raspberry flavoring to enhance vanilla substitutes. That is fucking. But weird. the chance of encountering. Oh, they literally call it Eau de beaver <laughs> <laughs> in foods in today is actually slender. So like they stopped doing that like quite a while ago, but it seems like they say slim to none, meaning like somebody's so doing it. Still. How does they they got it? They say, they, they say sci scientists extracted it. <laughs> it's like you know those like um those uh chicken baster things. In <laughs> in the food flavoring world, the truth can be stranger than fiction. Remember when Starbucks was coloring its strawberry frappuccinos with crushed bugs? And since Oliver's big reveal, oh, the, inter back with that shit. the internet has been one. perpetuated a tale of a beaver's touch flavoring. But this was Oliver's telling the truth, or was he just pulling a turkey's leg? Probably a bit of both, but the flavor chemist says the University of Minnesota decades ago, he explained scientists did indeed do this. And these days, the Food and Drug Administration regard the beaver's extract as safe, natural flavoring, and they stopped doing this. <laughs> wow. Isn't that kind of neat? So, and that, raspberry, too. Thank, well, thank you for giving me a great laugh. Isn't that cool? Because that's fucking weird. Isn't that cool? I'm just... I want to talk to the first guy that discovered this, and uh, I'll get to the bottom of the story, okay? We'll, we'll interview him. Oh, that's show. what you wanted me to Google. Who discovered it? How? First of all, well, you can say I'm, who. I'm sure if you say who, I'm sure it'll go. Who? How does it get to the point where you're, like, knowing what a beaver's ass gland tastes like? Uh, who discovered you're not, you're not. who discovered beaver's anal glands <laughs> oh taste like vanilla <laughs> short answer either one of the indigenous people Ooh, long answer this was an interesting question it fits the category as the who was the first person as far as i can tell the story goes way back we can find evidence of it as far back as 5500 bc wow Beavers were most famously hunted for their pelts, meats, and um, medicinal use of in the intestines and the glands that produce the or or, or arom can't even say the word aromatic is that the uh, right word aromatic aromatic, aromatic yeah, uh, I was about onions way beaver oil so yeah it's it's almost like the pelts like pelts fucking equal money crazy. for a long time I, beavers are very like high price and that's why they're on their fucking uh, money. one of my favorite fun facts that you have ever done mechanical um <laughs> i told you i had a good one fact how fucking funny it was um but i don't know what do you guys think uh i'm pretty sure some people will not like <laughs> the some things that i have to say but it's all part of the fun it's all part of the show 
Uh, but Disney, I wouldn't bring your kids there at all. Or the indigenous people are going to find you in 5500 BC and, and they're extract gonna... your anal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to figure out a way. They're going to figure out that shit enhances vanilla like no other motherfucker. For the people that genuinely understand what we're doing with this show and understand where we're going with this show and why this is so much fun. And uh, we hope you're also having a lot of fun. Give us five star review. You know, that's a good review. You know, overshadow these people calling Billy, uh, getting mad at him for Confederate flag stuff and call me an ableist. You know, let's get those views up. Let's get this shit happening. Dude, I got a lot of Confederate flag hate. I want to read you got it. One, that one guy that was like, I used to remember. I told you this. Story. I used to like, I used guys. to like you guys <laughs> until you fucking until you hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so obviously, yeah, give us five star reviews. Obviously, a good way to support us is uh, Patreon. We have me and Billy's first, uh, rant episode where we drank for two hours actually two or three hours and i cut it down to about like uh, that was a long rant. We <laughs> it got was fucking like, bombed. uh we were both very drunk and there's tons of stuff already up there so that's how you support us and i have a candle in front of me and it like changes colors like and it's ribs like it's a skeleton and what's that what do they say on a, are you afraid of the dark and this council is whatever what do they say no they feel the sand on the fire and they go I bid you good night and good bed. 